Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. How do you diagnose computer crashes or freezes? It's a question I'm asking. Go ahead and answer that. And there's really no one right answer to this. I think it boils down to having the ability to troubleshoot uh, and, and strip away potential problems to get to the problem at hand. This, by the way, is, is not a, uh, a uh, issue related to PCs or Macs, Linux, Mac OS X, Windows. It doesn't matter. I mean, we all have dealt with freezes and crashes. Even I have. I mean, everybody has. Um, you know, stripping away uh, hardware sometimes can solve the problem. You realize it's an errant driver. Uh, and in some cases, you may have to reinstall the operating system to get rid of the footprint of uh, that piece of hardware. Could be a piece of software that you installed and completely forgot about, and somehow it's now causing problems again at some point in the past. Uh, you know, stripping these things away one by one, uh, it's going to get you closer uh, to uh, finding the source of the problem. Looking at log files is an important thing when your uh, computer crashes, whether it's something that's visible on screen uh, or it's, you know, like, oh, I can see it crashed or if it just disappears. Uh, you know, checking to see if there's updated software available. Uh, maybe there's a known conflict. Uh, if you can copy and paste or even write down, uh, you know, certain key text on the screen and, you know, search the web, uh, sometimes that will lead you uh, to a, a solution. Um, and you'd find that some people have been in the same situation that you have. Some people haven't. I mean, I, I've run into problems like, I have no idea where this came from. What is this? Uh, and it, it beat my head up against the wall trying to find a solution, even through, you know, communities and asking questions. Uh, ended up having to, to call, you know, uh, your true support. You know, you have to pay for it. And, you know, they fixed the problem. It was some, uh, at one point I had some obscure, obscure uh, guest permissions uh, on the system and I couldn't figure out why certain things were, were going awry. I've also had issues with software that was unrelated to other software, what I thought was unrelated to other software, but having this software installed was causing a problem. Having the software uninstalled was still causing a problem, but I had to keep peeling back layers uh, and saying, well, what if I don't run this when uh, the operating system starts up? Oh, things work better. Uh, okay, so what if I don't use this piece of hardware? Things run better. So you've got to think around the problem sometimes and, and, and think backwards. You know, troubleshooting is a skill, uh, and you can hone that skill over time. Uh, but to diagnose, to best diagnose the computer crash or freeze, uh, you know, look at the error messages that are there. That's probably the easiest way. Uh, be cognizant of what you're running, uh, you know, when you're running it, um, and, you know, really what you have plugged in. And just start building bit by bit, one by one. Sometimes booting even into safe mode. And, uh, you know, every operating system has a feature like this uh, where you strip away all the things that you don't need. Are things running fine? Yes. Well, then there's probably something that you're missing somewhere. And then you just got to go in again and again and again and again until you find that problem. Be looking for diagnostic information on, on the crash logs uh, that will lead you closer to the solution. Um... You know, ignoring it probably won't make it go away. And worst comes to worse, uh, strip away all the hardware, reinstall the operating system. If the problem's still there, well, then you may have a problem with hardware that's in your computer. That's certainly a possibility. Uh, you know, you could download a thousand and one programs that'll tell you, hey, your hardware's running right, or hey, your hardware's running wrong. I mean, you, sometimes you just gotta splunk, man. You gotta go deep into it. Uh, there's no one right way. I would just say, you just again keep refining your ability to troubleshoot a problem is this happening no then it may be this strip away bits and pieces don't approach the problem like this approach it piecemeal one by one by one by one by one so uh you know here's an example i was with uh my parents and my dad said the internet's down so the first thing i did was i looked on my phone uh i could get online and okay, so I looked at the notebook computer that I had. I could get online using the same access point. And I said, the internet's down? Well, yeah, I can't get online. Okay, so then I could get online, the access point. So it wasn't an access point problem. It wasn't an ISP problem. So therefore, it must be something related to the system. So I you know, looked at it. And I couldn't really, I was like, well, it's got to be something connected. Oh, he's hardwired into the computer. That's, that's weird. All right, well... Uh, 
if, if it's not online, let's just try resetting the modem. Plugged it back in after unplugging it, and uh, it worked. So I knew it wasn't a problem with the internet. I knew it wasn't a problem with the access point. I, I knew it must be an issue uh, with the uh, hardwired connection. Uh, I could have you know, tried a different port on the router, although he didn't have one on his modem. He only had one connection. So you never know what it's going to be. Uh, you just got to think about it methodically, bit by bit. If it is, is this, well, it could be this. If it's that, it could be this. If it's this, it could be that. Just bit by bit. So uh, I'm interested in hearing your uh, methodology with uh, troubleshooting uh, problems computer crashes or freezes. Everybody takes uh, different steps, but I think they'd agree with me, step by step, bit by bit. <clears throat> Got my answer. What's yours? We'll see you later.